Sanu! You're probably the best receiver in the game, throw power. Thank Ooh. you. But if you could throw it 70, then your rating's gonna keep going up. What happens if he throws at 45? He could go down. There's risk here. What's going on, everybody? Lefko here in Atlanta to meet up with Mohamed Sanu, the wide receiver with the strongest arm in the NFL. I want to know how many quarterbacks he can throw it farther than. And just like a good state farm agent, Mohamed Sanu is just looking to help us out. See, I'm the Sultan of Segways, and that's called branded content. It's a little bit of a reach. I apologize. But in all seriousness, State Farm is great. Mohamed Sanu can throw far. Let's get it on. <laughs> Yeah, Sanu, what's good, man? Dude, I'm so excited we're about to do this. Yeah, we get to show off that arm cannon of yours. Well, good, man. Let me see. <laughs> How much do you think we got in there? 75, 80? Oh, no, we gotta see. So we have 10 of the top quarterbacks in the NFL laid out on the field with their longest throws. So we got Eli, Brady, Rodgers, all the way up to Patrick Mahomes at freaking 80 yards. How many of these guys do you think you can throw it farther than? You've seen guys on the sideline. Maybe, maybe like, maybe like 50, 40, 50. Okay. If you reach Rodgers yeah. at 73, mm -hmm. successful day. Right. I think you're going to pass Brady and, and Russ. Right. I mean, I, I think so too, maybe. That throw that I saw on Twitter, uh -huh. in like the backyards. Oh yeah. You were like, how far is that? How far was that, you think? It was pretty far. It was like, it was definitely 60 plus, but I had to throw it over the tree too in the house. That's <laughs> crazy. I also want to see how fast you can throw it. Mm -hmm. We got a radar gun. Radar gun it. Have you ever done this before? No, I've never done a radar and gun. And I'm going to try and catch one of your passes, so please don't break my fingers. OK. I've done that before. You've broken someone's finger? Oh, definitely. Here we go, here we go. Damn. 54. 54. You know that's higher than most quarterbacks. Oh my god, and I caught. No, damn it. I got so afraid I wanted to talk to you. What was that? 54. 54. I'm catching the next one. Here we go. Oh. 56. 56. You impressed by that catch, though? Yeah, I was very impressed by that. I was nervous. You played high school QB, right? Yeah. That's probably when the arm was the most fluid. Oh, definitely. How far were we throwing back then? Um, it was one day, it was a little windy. I threw 84 and... 84? Yeah, the one day it wasn't what? windy, it was completely... That's like double me, bro. <laughs> I can imagine you weren't too thrilled with the Madden ratings that came out. No. Throw power went from a 78 to a 72. They made their ratings tougher, yeah, they which did. I understand. That's cool. But a 72. Yeah, that's very, very. I mean, that's Eli's higher than that. <laughs> but now this is your chance to prove everybody wrong because we brought in a Madden ratings adjuster. That's the guy that you need to impress. He's gonna adjust it. If you wanna get your numbers up. What's up, guys? Hey, I'm Clint Oldenburg, a Madden Ratings Performance Adjuster. Oh, we have you at a 72 throw power, which is pretty good for a receiver. You're probably the best receiver in the game, throw power. Thank you. But if you can throw it past some of those guys, then your rating is going to keep going up. What happens if he throws it like 45? And the rating could go down. It could go down? It okay. can go down. There's risk here. It's time for Mohamed Sanu to throw the ball deep. All right, that's that's a good first throw. What are we thinking right away? I mean, it, did that was that impressive to you? That was pretty impressive. I mean, he has a quarterback background. I think he can go a little further. You know that you threw it past Matt Ryan, your quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> he knew. All right, throw two. Here we go. That's a spiral um, and a half. He spun it. I think that's right at seventy. Wow, it's close. 69. Nice. I have a little pressure to add to this. If you can hit 70, which you're really close for your yard off, mm -hmm. we're going to add a package of plays to the Falcons playbook that you align that quarterback. Okay. 
Just for that, I'm gonna get that for the fans, just cause you said that. Ooh. Cause you know, I know they've been asking for tweets all the time. Yeah. So just for that, I got you. I don't wanna add too much pressure. Man, man of the people, pressure. Some Listen, you know, such a pressure. That extra yard, no such thing as pressure. I just messed up. Just for the fans. Ah. Yeah. And he's got a play in the playbook as a quarterback. Just for the fans. Yes. I was really nervous. I thought 69 was going to be your time. Nah. 71. Once I felt it, yeah, I could do it. Ooh. That's pretty good. Ooh. So, no. I think we're definitely in the 80s now. You, you came in with a 72 throw power. I think we're definitely in the 80s. Definitely in the 80s. This is the best thing ever. I feel like I've given a <laughs> gift. I didn't even know I was doing all this. You gave it a gift I can't to stop high fiving you, you for no you gave reason. A gift to the Falcons fans. Yeah, yeah Falcons fans get to all use you. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and ten, just outside the red zone. Looking to throw. Mohamed Sanu got his star receiver. It's Jones. So we were hoping Mohamed Sanu would out throw 16 NFL quarterbacks. At 71 and a half, he out threw 28 starting quarterbacks in the NFL. We improved his throw power rating, and it makes me think NFL GMs, instead of looking for a quarterback, maybe you should look for a wide receiver, or at least pick him up in Madden. What's up, guys? It's Darius Geis of the Washington Redskins. Make sure you subscribe to Bleacher Report to catch more episodes from Dish the Playbook with Lefko. Sadly. <laughs>